In this video, we'll write the equation for Cu3PO42 plus H2O. This is copper 2 phosphate plus water. So we'll take our solid copper 2 phosphate here and put it in liquid water. When we do that, we want to know what the equation is. First, we really need to understand whether this copper 2 phosphate is going to dissolve in the water. And we can use the solubility rules to help us figure that out. So we're going down, and here are phosphates. Most phosphates are insoluble with a few exceptions. So when we put our copper 2 phosphate in water, nothing happens. It just falls to the bottom. It remains a solid, doesn't dissolve. So really, there's not much of an equation we could write. We should note when we say insoluble, we mean almost all of it stays as a solid, but there's always a very tiny amount that's going to dissolve. And we could write that equation here if we wanted to do that. Phosphate, that's going to be 3 minus each one of them. So that's 2 times 3 minus is 6 minus. Copper has to be 2 plus. 3 times 2 plus is 6 plus. Charge is balanced. So we have 3 of these copper 2 ions. And then we have 2 of our phosphate ion. Since these are dissolved in water, let's put a little aq for aqueous. So this is the equation for the very small amount of the copper 2 phosphate that dissolves in water. Most of it, though, will remain a solid and just fall to the bottom of the test tube. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.